Hello friends! Today we're gonna explore some serious chess opening, the London system. It's the secure tool you always should have in your chess library. In case you don't want to play some sharp openings like Figatella attacking we watched before and you're willing to see it and think carefully or maybe you prepared some strong opening, this is the reliable tool you always should have at hand. London. Let's go to London. Let's get start London. We started with d4, d5. And the second move is bishop f4. That's the London move. We develop our bishop before we block it with e3. And after that, we move e3 and uh, defend our pawn and the bishop. Like this. We're not letting this bishop stuck on c1. And yes, we have this b2 weak pawn, but it's too early to use it. So knight f6, e3, we defend our bishop to not blind it somewhere, e6, we develop knight f3, and the key point in London is e5. Yes, the faster you move your knight here, the better, because the field is already supported with two pieces, and it's prepared for the knight. Bishop d6, black tries to trade our strong bishop, we can trade, of course, but better we can put our key knight e5 or else we can even go back and we don't afraid this trade because we open this h line we can attack be prepared that in london you often can leave your king in the center even because the center is that strong that the king feels safe here even not castled let's return to the beginning and watch some more basic variation d4 d5 bishop f4 knight f6 e3 e6 and knight f3 black want to trade this strong bishop and for example we don't want to trade them uh, we want to avoid spoiling our pawn structure and want to keep our castling opportunity and we move this idea forward knight e5 the key point we took it so black want to attack this strong knight and we move our second knight the same road as the first one uh, please note that there is no take with the knight here because yeah it's a fork and black is piece down already so there is no way to take us with the knight but they could take it with the bishop, right? Because the centralized knight is not pleasant at all. So take we take with the pawn. And up here there is no good square for this knight. And they must go to the center where we also trade it. And we have this symmetric, symmetric pawn structure in the center. But here we have some good opportunity to develop our queen. We use this bishop stack on its initial place and we attack g7 weak point immediately and if black castling here they already are in trouble because yeah we just attacking we do this checkmate attacking and at least we take this rook for the knight so this is our key position we just watch this trade with the bishop right But let's check, what if black doesn't take this knight, doesn't trade and just castling? We continue the development, we develop our bishop to d3, taking the central square under control, where black aiming. And uh, please note that here, the main idea for black, one of the orphan responses, c5, they want to explode our pawn center. But look at this bishop, it's hanging, let's remember it. So we support our pawn with c3, just remember this pawn structure, d4, uh, e3 and c3, this pawn structure is really standard for London, but don't forget to develop bishop f4 before you build these pawns, right? So if black continue moving their pawns, we just go here, and if they move in their queen flank pawns here already we have this trap can you see it yeah knight fc f7 uh, we attack the queen there is no time for trading 
and when we trade yes we just take back this piece which was weakened by c5 movement just remember this trap even right after c5 we are not obliged to move c3 as i showed you before because we already have this sacrifice it's actually not a sacrifice it's just a, a pawn winning on c5 we already have this bishop hanging and c3 is more general plan but this certain position have this tactics already just remember this trap so if black aware about this sacrifice they would rather support this bishop with the queen right to defend everything then we just move c3 we continue our plan and the plan for us will be to move our queen to the attacking positions because we already have this bishop on this diagonal attacking the king and we want to have our queen there right and after that we can even move this g4 g5 pawn to attack the, the king because as i told you our king is ready to be in the center so c5 is a standard plan for black yes we standardly defended with c3 and if black continue moving their pawns and they have to move the pawns on queen plan is their game our game continuing on king's flank we are attacking king instead it's more interesting right that moving pawns on queen's flank the main chess, one of the main chess rules says that if somebody attacks you on king's flank you should play in the center so black would always want to trade this centralized knight to uh, explode center somehow and here we just take with the pawn because we can scare this knight the only defender of h7 point can you see it so it's also not good for black they would try to block our strong bishop but here we remember about another bishop which so already strong as well and we move our another knight this road to support our centralized knight and to have the opportunity to attack for g g5 to attack to h7 and f7 points so we support our knight with another knight and looking at this g5 point to attack h7 again and in case black want to rebuild structure for example knight e8 to scare our knight with e6 we already have the knight g5 to attack h7 and bishop h6 to win the rook so let's return to the beginning and summarize our main idea main london idea d4 d5 bishop f4 the key move as a second move now later knight f6 e3 after bishop e4 defend all the central pawns and pieces uh, then develop normally black willing to trade this bishop and we are not in a hurry to trade to let them develop their queen but move this knight on the key square knight e5 is the second key move in the london and there is no good moment to take this knight because we take with this pawn and we would harass this knight f6 which is defender of h7 as you remember and if we scare it with the pawn uh, the king will not be saved here right because how do we go we move another knight the same road we try to support our centralized knight black try to trade this centralized knight but again there is no way to take it because uh, they cannot take it with the bishop and if black in some moment moves c5 we remember about this sacrifice so black would rather defend this bishop we castling we're not we're not hurry we are not in, in a hurry to castle we develop our queen instead to attack on c5 we defend central pawn with c3 and there is no good moment again for black to take this knight because if they take with the knight there will be fork remember about this fork and if they take with the bishop we would scare this knight so they would rather block with g6 and here we use another bishop we move our queen to attacking position we move another knight to attacking position 
we want to attack h7 move our bishop to h6 in case of g6 and if our king is not secure in the center we just loan castle that's the main london ideas